Yes, sir, Mr. Secretary. I, I assure you we will find out who's responsible. Understood. No, it will be totally covert. Yes, sir. Great, thank you. Bye. Sir, you need to see this. A hair was recovered at the crime scene. They have a positive ID. He flew in and out of Costa Verde within hours of the attack. Peterson! Yes, sir. We have our man, Brandon Beckett, is now our primary suspect at a team over to Becca's house, Stat. Local SWAT? No, private. If it was one of our only killed for a dignitary, we need to keep it under wraps until we know everything. Clover, keep digging. Find out everything you can. Peterson, when you locate Beckett, I want a safe house set up somewhere nearby. Okay. All right, let's move now. Assume that Brandon Beckett is armed and dangerous. Sweaty as hell. Oh, really? <laughs> Unlike you, I actually have a real job. But I've got two more weeks of vacation left, buddy. Two more weeks of beating your little 13 year old ass. Oh, well, 14. So sorry. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom! <gasps> Was taken. What? It was critical this death looked like a suicide. What's plan B? After being questioned, he'll be taken to a high security facility for holding. I'll send a team to take out the convoy. It'll need to look like they're working with Beckett. No one survives. We know you killed Bruno Diaz. What in the hell are you talking about? Don't bullshit me. We got your DNA, we have your flight records, and we have your motive. Now what I want to know is, was your father involved? My father? Was he involved in what? Your father was on a mission in Costa Verde, things went bad. This is your way of getting even. Yeah, I read your stories in your emails. Look. I've obviously been set up. Where were you Tuesday? 7.32 p.m. Uh, I don't know. The gym? In bed? Sir, I'm on leave for the first time in five years. With all due respect, I didn't even know there was an assassination. Agent Franklin! Pardon the interruption. Can I have a word alone with Beckett? the hell called you? The Colonel. I'm guessing your short-sighted inability to see through the red tape was a concern when dealing with someone whose service record is as admirable 
as Sergeant Beckett says. You got a minute. How about five? How about one? Okay. Zeke Rosenberg, Homeland Security. You can call me Zero. Okay, Zero. Look, I had nothing to do with whatever this is. Yeah, I'm not gonna make a judgment on that. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna look at the facts and then I'll make my decision. Unlike Agent Franklin there, who seems to believe everything he reads. Now listen, they're gonna move you to a black site. Now if you're guilty, it's gonna get really ugly. But if you're innocent, whoever did this is gonna wanna tie up loose ends. That's not so good either. I promise you I will get to the bottom of this. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. I might find out you're guilty. I'm not. I hope that's true. All right. Time's up. Get him up and out of here. Let's go. I have strict orders to keep a low profile. So I don't need you out there swinging your big badge blowing my cover. You got me. I have my orders too. And don't worry. I know they only drag you out of the basement if it's a big deal. Okay. Let's get to work. Заглуши ее на секунду, заглуши. Я. Окей. Вы не дмани об фронт. Лаут хеликоптер behind you. I'll repeat, money up front. Not the helicopter. Or perhaps it is my accent. I'll repeat one more time, then I'm hanging up. Money up front. Да? Very good. Ну что вы стоите, ну ёпте, ну давай бегом по машинам. Что ты кофе пьешь? Давай в машину ходи. Franklin tells me you're the one who ID'd Beckett. Uh, I wasn't working alone, but yes, I tracked his passport and found his emails. The ones about his father going rogue in Costa Verde? It's a bit more complicated than that, but yes. Oh, it's a lot more complicated than that. Or it's the truth. I'm not ruling that out. But a man that I respect very much doesn't think so. I can appreciate that. But we need more than your friend's hunch to overturn this concrete evidence, however respected he may be. You're right. Why don't you pull up the video of the assassination? <clears throat> the immediate area was under heavy surveillance. Based off the trajectory and size of the exit wound, Ballistics was able to create a simulation that narrows the shot to this vantage point. Over a mile away. Only someone with Beckett's skill set could plan and pull off the shot. We're in agreement there. Now, who's that guy? Donald South, CEO of Novasil Pharmaceutical. Jose Lucas, Gabriel Machado, Maria Garcia. This guy, I don't remember his name, but he is the Minister of Energy. These are all politicians. 
So, what is a big pharma CEO doing up on that stage? It's a good question. Thank <laughs> you. 
Donald Donald. That does not look like the picture of your wife in my reports. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. South, before you get too comfortable here, may I have a word? I'm sorry, this isn't the time. Call my secretary. She'll be happy to make an appointment for you. Okay, will do. Is he free on uh, Tuesday afternoon? Who are you? I'd hate to have to flash my credentials and make more of a scene than I already have. Can you give us a minute? That's great. Thank you. Ah, uh, hey. Your daughter's very pretty. Hi, I am Agent Rosenberg, Homeland Security. I just have a couple questions. I'll be out of your hair. What's this about? I think you know. Bruno Diaz? See, here's the thing. I want to know what a corporate CEO of a pharmaceutical behemoth was doing on stage during a speech about trade relations. Pharmaceuticals are one of our nation's leading exports. Sure, but I didn't see anybody from the gas companies up there arm in arm with politicians. Are you accusing me of being involved in the assassination of Mr. Diaz? No, no, no. I just want to know what you were doing there. Well, I was in attendance because I've been an outspoken advocate for lifting the embargo. I'm a personal friend of the trade minister, and I look forward to what the future will hold and finally being able to do business with Costa Verde. Personal friend. His death must have been hard on you. Very. How about professionally? Did I stand again? Are you kidding me? This is killing us. The embargo lifted our stock should have soared right before our merger with Ficus Industries. Nova so far must be absorbed by another company. Lord help us. Does Homeland Security not have access to Google? We were weeks away from the merger. Follow the money. Someone didn't want to pay full price. Are you saying Ficus had something to do with this? Follow the money. Ficus Industries, on a Vancouver-based company that has a relationship with Costa Verde, is weeks away from buying my company. A small fish. Lifting the embargo would have turned us into a shark. Not now, Peterson. This is urgent, sir. Beckett's transport appears to have been attacked. There was a large wreck just outside of Olympia, and um, <clears throat> one of our contractors was among the deceased. What about the other two? Missing, along with Beckett and the vehicle. Oh, Jesus Christ, so he's not working alone. Someone broke him out of our custody. Do we know who? Along with our man, there were four more bodies. They appear to have Russian mob involvement. He's working with the Russians. We are trying to find the connection. Well, I think this connection's on the side of the goddamn road, no? Well, not exactly. There, there's more. Our man was killed with a long-range bullet, not by the men on the scene. A sniper? Yes, sir. His father? I, I couldn't say. I could. Sir. OK, heads up. Thomas Beckett is now a priority. It seems his son, Brandon, isn't working alone. He has our vehicle and two of our contractors, possibly as hostages. Sir, the SUV transporting Beckett was just reported dumped at an abandoned lumber mill in Aberdeen. The other men were still in the car, deceased. OK, look, he, he's on foot. He can't get far, so let's highlight Aberdeen, Washington. Hey, that means traffic cameras, ATM cameras, cell phone traces, the whole works. Let's find them, now. away from the vehicle, nice and slow. We 
guys, I know you're just doing your job here, but I, I can't let you bring me. Quiet! On your knees! I won't hurt you. Can you put that in the glove box? Damn it, can't just try! All right, I right, sit. Hey, talk to me. Beckett and our team were attacked. He's on the loose. I can't keep helping you. He's the number one suspect in a political assassination who's now wanted for killing three government contractors. Or whoever set him up wants him dead. Then why won't he bring himself in? He did. Sounds like it almost got him killed. <sighs> Whoever did this knew he was being moved. If I'm Beckett, I'm thinking there's a mole in the department. He's gonna stay as far away from this as possible until this is all sorted out. With Franklin running the show, I'm his only hope, and I can't do this without you. What do you need? Did you look into the Ficus Novosil merger? Find anything out of the ordinary? One small red flag. They had a security breach last month. An employee from the accounting department tripped an alarm trying to access an area above his clearance level. That's it? Local PD arrived at the scene, but they were turned away by the head of security. He wouldn't even let them in the building. Okay, well that's something. What's his accountant's name? Josh Strayhorn. Josh Strayhorn. Okay. Keep digging. I'll keep you posted. What are you gonna do? Well, guess I'm heading to Vancouver. Where have you been? I know we're slammed, but we still have bathroom privileges, don't we? No. Brennan Beckett just escaped from two police officers in an Aberdeen parking lot. He is now officially MIA. So until we find him, hold it. Okay, get out. What? Start walking, I'll turn around until you hit that last road. Come on, man, I'm in this now. I, I can help you. You've helped plenty. Dude, that, that closed exit wasn't my fault. I mean, waste that Kid, I just walk. Don't worry, I'll take good care of your car here. All right. All right. Hey. Sorry, buddy. Greg Phoenix, head of security. What can I help you with today? <clears throat> Holy shit. Hi, I'm just here to pick up a prescription. Rosenberg is for my mom. No, no sorry, I'm just kidding. Hey. <laughs> How about Josh Strayhorn, accounting? Can you help me find him? Uh, Josh Strayhorn. Sadly, he's at home sick. Hopefully I can help answer any of your questions. Perhaps. Shall we go to your office? Is this gonna be long? Well, I suppose that depends on what you have to say. Mr. Strayhorn tripped an alarm two weeks ago trying to access a secure area. Right. I do remember that. And then the police showed up, is that correct? Yeah, of course. That is protocol when there's a security breach. This was just simply a misunderstanding. May I ask why you're inquiring into this minor incident? Well, 
Whether or not it's a minor incident remains to be seen. You see, I have reason to believe that Mr. Strayhorn may have been involved with the assassination of Bruno Diaz. <laughs> wow. Really, to be honest, that seems like a bit of a stretch. I know, I know. I've seen his picture. He looks like a guy that likes to dress up and go to Comic-Con. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But then again, so do I. So, you know. <clears throat> well, um, what I can tell you is that on that night, Mr. Strayhorn left the office with some coworkers for drinks. After having a few too many, he realized he left his wallet on his desk. When he returned, and not quite 100%, got off the elevator on the wrong floor. It was a drunken accident. Mm. Right? Right. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see. Well, how about that merger, though? Huh? I mean, absorbing Novaso Pharmaceuticals, your workload is going to double, I would imagine. So does that mean your pay is going to double? Not quite. Maybe more employees to keep track of, really, but the daily routine stays about the same. <laughs> right. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Phoenix. I'll be in touch. Listen to me. That is not what we agreed on. I gotta call you back. A man just reported a carjacking to Idaho State Police. He was taken from a parking lot in Aberdeen, where Beckett was last seen. Okay. Okay, he screwed up. We find this car, we find Beckett. Outside Josh Strayhorn's apartment. What? Yeah, they told me he was homesick. I thought it was bullshit. Turns out I was wrong. So you didn't talk to him? No, but I did talk to a guy named Drake Phoenix. I'm not sure about this guy. Let me see what you can find out about him. <gasps> He's a ghost. That was fast. Last five years, I've got bank records, social security, you name it, right down to his goddamn Netflix account. Then poof, he disappears. What the hell is this? I gotta go. Uh, zero. Agent Rosenberg asked me to look into a situation at Ficus Industries. Zero. Ficus Industries. God damn it, Clover. I told you I wanted you to focus on Beckett. Jesus Christ, where is Zero? I'm not sure. So the next time he calls, you patch him through to me. Now stay tracking Beckett and stop with this shit. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Peterson, I'll be in my office. Right there, buddy. Homeland Security. Why don't you take a bathroom break, my friend? Yes, sir. Federal agent, I need a moment alone with this whoa, patient. Whoa, 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 whoa. You cannot be in here. This is a matter of national security. You will give me and the patient in this room where I will have you both arrested for obstruction of justice. Do you understand me? Well, this patient is hours out of surgery. At least yeah, I don't care. Wake him up. Sir, he could die. I'm not about to have him wake up. He is a suspect in a political assassination and potentially responsible for the deaths of three men. Now wake him up. I can't, I'm sorry. Why do we have to do this the hard way? Wake him the fuck up, please.
Jesus, Dad. I could have shot you. Yeah, but you didn't. <laughs> well, you don't look like you're outfitted for fishing, so... What did you do? <sighs> look, I've been set up. Sunshine. Uh, Who hired you? I'm not gonna ask nice this next time. Who hired you? Kirelli to the doctor. Who fucking hired you? Ah, I don't know. He never told me his name! We only talked on the phone! Please just let me stabilize him. Nah, not do this, stop talking. Who ah! I am. Ah! I told you he didn't know! I don't believe you. Give me something. Male, female, American, European. A sound! Come on, give me something! Ah! <laughs> Scrambled voice I couldn't hear because of his helicopter! I know nothing! <laughs> But I only hunt squirrel with my left hand because it wouldn't be fair or sporting otherwise. <laughs> the missing finger isn't enough of a handicap, huh? Oh, hell. You've seen me shoot. This old boy still got it. That's tough, Dad. I don't think I could have bounced back from something like that. No, you could have. I'm sure you've got your own battle scars. Oh, a few. I was in a knife fight in Calcutta once. I got a pretty gnarly scar across the old thigh here. Oh, I don't want to see it. I want to show you. How about you? Any other scars or skeletons from past missions? Well, yeah, there, there's something think about once in a while. It was the Nam. We were in the central highlands, smack dab right on the top of the Cambodian border. And our mission was to assassinate a particularly nefarious NVA tax collector and any of his escorts that we might possibly be able to nail. My partner at senior NCO, Sergeant Major Conrad, <clears throat> well, we were all beyond exhaustion. And, uh, but he snapped. He decided uh, he would order me to stay back and then he would go in alone. I should have never let him do that. 
But he went in. His hands were rock steady. But his eyelids were just twitching. And he kept repeating this phrase. Aude vide tace. Whispering it. Aude vide tace. Aude vide tace. And he goes in. And then he comes out, arm twisted behind his back, blood coming down his face. And behind him, the son of a bitch that we were trying to assassinate with a pistol stuck in his cheek. And he's yelling, Beckett, take the shot. This was long range. I mean, they were together. They were, I'm talking inches apart. I mean, I was pretty good back then, but God, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess it was just my emotion got the better of me, and I. So I shot my target. But I also got my good friend. Jesus. I never looked it up. How did he be a touch? I think it was Latin. Agent Franklin, you don't mind if I look around, do you? I do. Sir. I found this in the bedroom. If you ever want to have a beer, coordinates, Dad. That's where he's got to be. We need a team up there. Hey, let's wrap it up. Let's head back to the safe house. I need you to confirm that Drake Phoenix was in Brandon's battalion. Back row, far right. You said back row, far right? I did, yeah. And you're sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Why? What's the problem? It appears that this is Sergeant Clark McConnell. He was wanted for war crimes, tortured a civilian. But he died in the line of duty five years ago. Who else do you think knows about this? We're going to find out. OK. Brandon, how's your mother? Uh, good. She ever uh, tell you that I used to check in on you? No. She always just used to say that you were uh, working. Yeah, well, I was. But I still checked in on you. Phone calls, later emails. Well, 
But I, uh, I, I should have done it in person. You know, Mom told me that you proposed. And she turned you down. Is that true? Yeah, I did. <laughs> three times. I proposed three times. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I just figured she was making herself responsible so I didn't take it out on you or something, but... Oof. Well, whatever her answer was, <clears throat> I should have been around. It's okay. Hey, huh? I can shoot. I owe that to you. Well, what do you mean by that? You pictured my face on a target downrange? <laughs> no, no, I... I actually, I was I pictured you there with me. You know, when I was a kid and Uncle Rick used to take me out hunting, I'd... I used to pretend that uh, you were right there next to me. You know, give me pointers. Jesus. And I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, we're here now, huh? Yeah. Just, um... Two knots on a log, eh, kid? Mr. Strayhorn, hi. I have a question for you about an invoice. Where is Drake Phoenix? I don't know. I don't know. He never showed up today. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's why I'm asking you where he is. I don't, I don't know, okay? I was sick yesterday and I haven't seen him since last Friday. Don't lie to me. I'm not. Bruno Diaz. Now I know you sure as hell aren't in charge, so why don't you tell me who you work for? I don't work for anybody, okay? I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Talk. Whoa! 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 Phoenix, Phoenix is insane, all right? All right, I don't have anything to do with this. I promise you, he forced me, he threatened to kill my family. Forced you to do what? Forced you to do what? He's for you. Do what? He's for you. <laughs> get up, get up, you're fine. It's fine, okay? Okay. It's gone, here, it's gone, okay? Talk to me. Phoenix. Phoenix came to me. Just this crazy plan, okay, to, to siphon millions off the merger with Novacell. All right? If Costa Verde pulls the plug on the trade agreement with the United States, right? Novacell stock plummets. The fluctuating price made it easy for me, really anyone in accounting that knows what they're doing, to just shave pennies on the dollar. Look, I, I refused to get involved. Then he got physical and threatened to hurt my wife. Is this why you didn't want the police there when you tripped the alarm that night? I was setting up the offshore account. Hey, look at Phoenix. Phoenix made me do this. You want some coffee? No, I'm good, Pops. <clears throat> oh, we got company.
Delta, proceed with caution. You're dealing with two highly trained individuals. You better get out of here. Check that. It's locked and loaded. You follow this tunnel, it'll take you outside of the perimeter. Once you get there, you'll see a path. Take a heading northeast on the path. Got it? It's a bit of a hike. Oh, yeah. You can take the man out of the Marine Corps, but you can't. Yeah, 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 whatever. Come on, go, go. Hello? It's Rosenberg, sir. He wants to talk to you. All right, put him through. Bring it up there. Approaching target now. Taking Zero. What's going on? I'm kind of in the middle of something. Guess what? I just got a crying confession that proves Brandon Beckett's innocence. What are you talking about? Send someone to FICA's headquarters immediately to pick up Josh Strayhorn. All of this is just to make money on the merger with Novasil Farm. The accountant? He'll confess to everything. Come on out. Hands up. One target in sight. Thomas Beckett confirmed. Other target, not known. Standing by. All right, Delta, stand down. I repeat, Delta, stand down. Standing down. Uh! Zero. Your innocent friend just took out two of our guys. God damn it! What part of get the hell out of here don't you understand? Shit.
push yourself. I dare you. Track him down the path. You flank him over on the right. He get his back to the river, and then he's trapped. We have to take him alive. If he's the shooter that framed me, I need to bring him in and find out why. Go. your weapon on the ground. Put your hands up.
Mr. Phoenix? Federal Agent Zeke Rosenberg, could you come to the door, please? Hey, I need you to 86 an alarm system for me. 27 Milo Street. Beckett. Clever. Agent Franklin? What do you got? Oh, shit. All right, pull him up. <clears throat> Sergeant Beckett, what do you say we put an end to this now? I would like that very much. This woman here killed these five men today. I'm convinced she's the one who set me up for the trade minister's murder. See if you pull an ID. I'm on it. Hey, listen to me, Beckett. Why don't we sort all this out when you get here? Yeah, we will. I'm heading in now. Now, that won't be necessary. I already have a second team on route. You stay put, we'll do this the right way. We'll be here waiting. Okay, listen to me. You let that team know that the suspect is there to comply and waiting for their arrival, but to proceed with caution. Hey, Clover, where are we? Got it. Yuki Mifumi. Multiple dealings with the Yakuza, where she goes by the handle Lady Death. Raised in a crime family, all private sector, no military service. Okay, li listen up. We need a connection between Lady Death and Bruno Diaz. Okay, everyone, now let's go. We gotta move. Come on. Oh my God, this is like the day that never ends.
Excuse me. Hi there. How routine are these departures? Oh, well, run on a cycle to keep all the islands serviced. Well, we got more islands than boats, see? Huh? Uh, it's clockwork. Good. How about 3 and 6.30 PM? Which island do you service then? Well, three. There's uh, that one, that one, and that one. Three. Russians say the Arctic chopper. What's that you say? Do any of those islands have a helipad? Well, that one for sure. Private residence, big place. Yeah, I need you to take me there now. Well, like we were saying, 3 and 6.30. Sir, I don't have time for a long-winded explanation. This is a matter of national security. So, ah, uh, your old buddy Ben Franklin. Take me there now, please. Checks out. Homeland confirmed her flying in and out of Costa Verde on the day of the attacks. She confessed, gave us the same name Zero gave us in Vancouver. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know you've been through hell. Yeah, you were just doing your job, Agent Franklin. Yeah. So, what do we know? Who wanted Bruno Diaz dead and why? Agent Clover. Money. Framing an American for the death of one of their public officials was guaranteed to stop the trade agreement in its tracks. Excuse me. The consequences of which sent the stock prices plummeting for an American pharmaceutical company that was in the process of being absorbed. Enter this guy. Look familiar? Clark McConnell. Back when you knew him. Now he's Drake Phoenix, a mid-level employee looking to make his fortune off the merger with some shady accounting. Compliments of this guy. Clark McConnell is dead. Not anymore. Agent Franklin, the team's ready to move her. All right, good, let's go. Wait, where are you taking her? The same max security you were headed to until she interfered. That karma's a bitch. No, keep her here. We can use her. How the hell would I do that? We can use her to flush out McConnell, uh, Phoenix. Here's what you need to know about that son of a bitch. When we were deployed, I watched him murder a woman and burn down her store while we were doing recon in a small village. He had nothing on her. She was innocent. So I reported him to our superior officer. But before they had a chance to question him, he was killed in a battle, supposedly. I saw the body with my own eyes. You saw a body. So this is about revenge? No. I agree with you. It's about money. Revenge is just why he's trying to hang this on me. Her job is to kill me. Let's make him think she's still out there trying. Have her call him. Tell him that she has me and that she wants to make a delivery. This will work. This better work. This is Agent Peterson, abort. I repeat, abort. Let's turn that convoy around. Copy that. Returning to base.
them you're delivering me in person. But you will not finish the job until you've been paid. That's your play. I want full immunity. You'll be extradited to Japan where you're wanted on three counts of first degree murder. And what they do with you, that's their business. Here in the US, your offenses will be expunged. It's the best you're gonna get here. We watched you murder five people and it's all on camera. Now help us. I'm supposed to kill you. He's not gonna believe it. Make him believe it. That's the only way this works. He has to trust you, or at least sense that you're pissed off. Look, this has gotten way more complicated than it was ever supposed to be, right? Work that angle. Agent Clover? We prefer raw fish. Bring back it. I'll send you the address. She'll have an empty gun. There's no way I'm sending her in with a loaded weapon. Sir, that is... End of story. You'll have breakaway cuffs. You'll also have a full clip concealed on you in case the need for a firearm arises. If she makes a move that strikes you as remotely out of the ordinary, you get a hold of the team and we'll extract you. You two are there to flush him out. We'll have a team in the perimeter to make an arrest and we'll have a sniper if the need arises. I'll do that. With all due respect, sir, you're retired. No. No. You're sending my kid in as bait, unarmed? And you goddamn well better believe that I'll be the one taking that shot. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Get her out of here. Let's move.
Easy drink. We don't need another dead body, especially not in my hot tub. I have another way to silence Mr. Rosenberg. Enough of the charade. Name your price. Everybody has one. Work with me. I'm offering you your life. I don't want to kill you. I would far rather deal with money. I'm not a murderer. A lot of people are dead because of your interest in money, even if you didn't pull the trigger. It wasn't supposed to be like that. I only wanted what was fair. I spearheaded the whole merger with Ficus. I made it seem viable. I did all the negotiations. It was my deal. And then I suddenly realized as soon as they had us on board, they had no need for two CEOs. I mean, as a businessman, I understand that. But as the architect of a thriving corporation, I don't. You see, if they're squeezing me out, I'm going to take as much as possible. I mean, surely you understand that, Mr. Zero. Even if it means murdering innocent people. Innocent? Bruno Diaz is a monster. He has fingers in more dirt than I care to discuss. The world's a better place without him. One dead, corrupt politician. That's what I proposed. Now, as for your friend Brendan, that's Mr. Phoenix's business. You see, Mr. Phoenix is involved in the details. I'm more of a an idea man myself. You see, that is the key to any successful enterprise delegation. Mr. Phoenix says he can take care of Diaz, and I don't ask any questions. Now, nah, when you delegate to a psychopath, you still end up with blood on your hands. Phoenix in for war crimes. Just beef with you. I heard you say your debt was paid. I was paid to kill his piece of shit brother. But his nephew got killed in the crossfire. I'm a pro. That can't happen. don't have time for a reunion. You can relive your war days later, after you pay me. Hmm. Relive our war days? I never told you Beckett and I served together. Get in here, now. Why don't you come out here? Give me yourself, you worthless piece of shit. <laughs> You've always underestimated me, Beckett. Get inside, now. They're going in. I right, call Blue. 
I repeat, code blue. She couldn't get him out. Extract Beckett and take out Phoenix. Son of a bitch. Group too close together. I want a chopper to take me and back it away. Come on. Hey. Hey, untie me. I'm a federal agent. I can help you. Come on. You help me, I'll help you. Yeah? I want a chopper to take me and Beckett out of here! And I want ten million dollars! Or Beckett does right now! Thomas, we need you to take a goddamn shot now. Do you have a shot? Negative. I got too much windage downrange. I don't give a shit about the wind. Take the shot! God damn it. Do you have a shot, Thomas? Take it. Jesus Christ. Do you have a shot? Do you have a shot? the shot. God damn it. Take the shot. I trust you. Oh, they, they touch it. What the hell are you talking to? My dad. Let's wrap this up. Great job, Delta. Not so fast, South.
Thanks for getting the job done. Actually, she did. I'll see you around here. the hardest shot I ever had to make. I never doubted you for a second, Master Gus. Well, yeah. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? We'll get those beers now. Yeah, I crack a couple of cold ones. Eight confirmed kills, 1.2 miles shot from a 30-story window. So stay, Omaio wa Oreo Taskete Kreta. Well, looks like you missed your flight. Let me introduce myself. Lady Death. My name is Zero. <laughs> <laughs> 